Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, I want to look at how to sum up or count in a filtered list. So we only want to sum up or count visible records. Now I've got a sum formula up here that's summing up my revenue values. And if I apply a filter, you'll notice that the calculation ignores the fact that the filter has been applied. I still get the same answer. If I remove that filter and I was to hide some records, it also ignores the fact that I've hidden those records. So I want my calculations to only add up visible records. Now, one way of doing this is to use the subtotal function. And when you use the subtotal function, your first argument function number asks you to select what calculation you want to perform. So I want to sum things up. So I double click where it says sum there and I get a nine in that argument. And then the second argument, you just select the cells that you want to do the calculation on. You can see I've got the same answer at the moment, but if I now apply a filter, the subtotal version of the calculation updates to reflect that some rows are hidden. Now I'll clear that filter. What if I manually hide those rows? Well, you can see that it ignores the fact that I've manually hidden those rows. Let's unhide them. Okay, so now subtotal can cope with this, but you have to use a different function number. If we continue to scroll down this list, you can see there's another sum. We had some up here, sum nine, but here we have sum 109. So I double click on that, comma, and now I select my revenue values. Let's hide some records. And you can see now that this second version of the subtotal function recognizes the fact that I've manually hidden some records. And again, it's only adding up the visible records. Okay, let's unhide. Now let's see what happens if I apply a filter, say international customers, and then I hide a record, or let's hide two. So this is where it falls down. So if I select all the revenue values, and look down at my status bar, that's 2,290. So now the nine version of the subtotal function is also ignoring records that I've manually hidden. So the distinction between the two disappears once a filter is applied. I don't know whether that's a bug or a misunderstand the difference between nine and 109, but I certainly find it confusing. So let's clear that filter. Now, another function you can use to do these calculations is aggregate. Aggregate, again, gives you a list of calculations you can do. Let's say sum, comma, and then you get this options argument. So these are all the things you can ignore. Now, relevant to our situation is this option here, five, ignore hidden rows. Then we choose our range of cells and 8,788. So if I was to filter, you can see I get the same answer as these two results. Clear the filter. If I was to hide some without a filter, then these two tallies. So the 109 version that ignores manually hidden records tallies with the aggregate function. Let's unhide. Let's apply a filter. And then let's hide one of the filtered records. So you can see that all the answers are the same. So that doesn't make sense to me, but there we are, that's how it works. I can also do the same thing if I want to count filtered records. If I was to use the normal count A function to count the number of revenue values and then apply a filter, it ignores the filter. Let's clear that. So instead I can use the subtotal function, count A, and then apply the filter, and it only counts visible records. Let's clear it. And aggregate also has a counting option. And we 
we want to ignore hidden rows. This is my range. And you can see if I now apply a filter, both work in the same way. Now there is a, another method for subtotaling filtered records, but this method requires you to house your data in an Excel table. So to do that, click in any cell, go up to the insert tab on your ribbon, go to table and click on OK. Then you get this additional tab on your ribbon, table design. And on this ribbon, you'll see an option called total row. If you tick that, you get total row at the bottom of your table. And by default, it will perform a calculation on the last column in your table. And you can see here that it's added up the revenues. What you'll also notice is a little drop down menu where you can choose what calculation you want to perform. So with sum selected, if I look up in the formula bar, you can see what it's doing. It's using the subtotal function with function number 109. So we know with the subtotal function, if I apply a filter, then the calculation will automatically update to only add up visible records. Now I can perform these calculations in any cell within the total row. So for example, in customer type, I could do a count. In the date column, I could choose max to return the most recent date. And whatever filter I apply, it will update these totals for me. Okay. So three different ways of performing calculations on filtered lists, your subtotal function, your aggregate function, and using an Excel table. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.